بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کلاس ویلکم ٹو انگلش گریڈ ایٹ اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ پنکچویشن کیوز سو ان دس لیکچر لیکچر نمبر فائیو وی ول ریڈ دس اسٹوڈنٹس لرننگ آؤٹ کم اٹ سیز یوز کامن پنکچویشن کیوز اور پنکچویشن مارکس ٹو ایڈ کامپریہینشن وین ریڈنگ اٹ مینس دیٹ Understanding and using punctuation marks will help us in understanding any text when we are reading it. For example, comma, full stop, or exclamation mark, colon, dash, parenthesis, slash, and ellipsis. And there are so many other punctuation marks as well, like quotation marks. But in this lesson today, dear students, we are going to focus on understanding what punctuation mark or Q is an ellipsis. How do we use it and when is it used? So, we are going to talk about ellipsis today. Here is a vertical linkage that you can uh, link with your previous grade. And for today, imagine in this brainstorming session, you have to think Imagine you are reading a book and come across a sentence with an ellipsis with three dots. Maybe in a character's dialogue, in the narration of a story. What do you think the ellipsis is trying to convey? Why do we use these three dots uh, in our writing or in when we are reading it? What do you mean by it? This is what we are trying to understand. So, students, let's find out that how ellipses work. You can open your book and find out this main lesson about ellipses. An ellipsis, which, is, which the plural is with E in the middle. An ellipsis is a set of three periods which is represented by these dots or full stops indicating an omission. It means that something is left out, something is not said or something is omitted from the sentence. Each period should have a single space on either side except when adjacent to a quotation mark in which case there should be no space. It means that when you are using ellipses, you have to give space between each dot except when you are, uh, when you are using the quotation marks then you can remove the space. This is the correct way of drafting it and using ellipses. Ellipses can be used to represent a trailing off of thought. If somebody is saying something and stops suddenly in the middle of the sentence without completing it, omitting it, then the, it is said that the character or the speaker is gone into a thought or the the thought is trailed off, so that's when we show it like these three dots. For example, I tucked my bag under my arm, left the school and simply followed my nose, walking on and on. Now, you can see the ellipses, these three dots over here. This example is taken from the text of the lesson from your book. And then the speaker trailed off into another thought. If no mountain or ocean blocked my path. Since he was walking on and on, on and on to show emphasis and to tell something else. Except other than this thought, we used a, an ellipsis. An ellipsis can also indicate hesitation. If somebody has, is hesitated to say something or nervous or shy, though in this case, the punctuation is more accurately described as suspension points. So, the ellipsis can be converted into suspension points because the writer or the speaker, the character it has, is hesitant to complete the sentence or to uh, convey the full sentence. For example, the boy when he was actually communicating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
and he was actually praying. He said, the need of your devoted servant is only the fees money that I ate the jalebis with. And he was hesitant. He was scared and nervous. And he is about to actually uh, do something and ask for fee money from Allah so that it can be put under the rock and he can find it. So, all right. So, you mean to say that here, when we are seeing this ellipsis, it means he stopped midway in the sentence and then he changed his mood and said, so, all right. So, that's when we use ellipsis to show some hesitation, some uh, somebody who is terrified or petrified like that, so that they can uh, show, the writer can show their emotions and feelings and uh, uh, what is going on inside the character. All right. Now, what, I, what you are supposed to do as a homework is that you have to read the text again of Jalebi's and focus on the use of ellipsis. Mark where the ellipsis is used to know the purpose of it is it's used. Was it used for trailing to show trailing off of thought or for hesitation or for some other purpose? Find another type of literary text and do the same. You can also find other punctuation cues like exclamation marks or quotations. So, and you can explain that why they are used just like you will explain ellipses. Now, why do we use ellipses? Let's uh, summarize all these points. We use it to show an omission, something that is left out of a word or words, including even the whole sentences from a text. We use it to create a pause for showing effect. If somebody is in a deep thought, you want to show some uh, you want to show some effect. You can pause so that the reader can also pause and think with you. We also use it to show an unfinished thought when the thought is not finished. For example, if the character says, I didn't mean, I mean to say, and then he stops, it means that he has another thought. He is out of idea or maybe out of thought. We also use it to show a trail off into silence. Just like in real life students, when we are speaking something and then we suddenly stop it, we go into silence. In the same way, if you want to write it down in your story, then you, ha you can use ellipsis to show that the character was speaking something and then everything was silent and the whole room was silent. So, this is a very effective literary technique as well. It's a very good punctuation aid that you can use to show the different moods and different feelings of a character. Now, let's look at this quote with without ellipsis and with ellipsis. It must be obvious from the very start that there is a contradiction in wanting to be perfectly secure in a universe whose very nature is momentariness and fluidity. Now, if you use ellipsis, then it would be, it must be obvious, pause, that there is a contradiction in wanting to be perfectly secure in a universe whose nature is momentariness and fluidity. So, as you can see that you can actually convert to to make some effect in the text and you can add ellipses for showing hesitation, for showing trailing of thought or for showing uh, silence to make your reader actually think for a moment because of the break that you have put in the text. So, this is the whole purpose of using ellipses. Now, for the classroom activity, you have to read out this passage and put the necessary punctuation marks where it is needed. You can solve the worksheet as well and for all these resources are available in the description of the video. You can get them easily. You can solve the worksheet and get this PowerPoint presentation as well. Go through the lesson of your book about ellipsis and try to practice it as much as you can. I'll see you in the next video lesson. Allah Hafiz.